Welcome to Glory Ball TV, where we have fun, bring excitement, and innovate entertainment. Feel free to like, comment, and subscribe because we enjoy hearing from you. Everyone who watches boxing is waiting for one thing the knockout punch. A boxing knockout can be compelling, thrilling, vicious, and heroic. Professional boxing has produced some of the most dramatic moments in sports history, and a knockout is frequently at the heart of the drama. There have been many great boxers throughout history, but most people remember those who achieved ring glory by consistently knocking out their opponents. Here is the list of the top 10 TKO knockouts. Let's start. Number 10. Rocky Marciano Rocky Marciano is boxing's greatest knockout puncher. Many boxing experts try to discredit him and his record because he competed as a heavyweight in the 1950s, which is regarded as a weak era in heavyweight boxing. Marciano knocked out some legendary boxers despite the lack of competition. Joe Louis, Jersey Joe Valkett, Ezra Charles, and Archie Moore were among Marciano's knockout victims. Actually, this is one of the more impressive knockout resumes on this list. Marciano was a 5'11 heavyweight who weighed less than 200 pounds. He lacked size, but he was the hardest punching boxer of all time in my opinion. One dubious story still circulates in boxing circles. Marciano's punching power was tested by the US Army and the force produced by one of his punches was equal to that of an armor-piercing bullet. Mm, I'm skeptical of this story, but it adds to his legend and makes for a great myth. Marciano lacked boxing skill and had poor footwork, but his punching power compensated for his shortcomings. He didn't mind if he collided with his opponent's head or body. His blows would land on their shoulders and forearms, causing severe bruising and actually aiding in their breakdown. Nobody could punch like Marciano, and no one will ever be able to. Number 9. Mike Tyson Iron Mike Tyson delivered some of the most spectacular knockouts in boxing history. His knockouts were legendary due to the combination of power, speed, and viciousness in his punches. Tyson was the best knockout puncher the world had ever seen from the mid to late 1980s. He doesn't hold the number one spot because he was unable to maintain his boxing brilliance. He knocked out strong opponents in his prime, but padded his KO record with weak opposition in the 1990s. Number 8. Archie Moore Archie Moore was an old-school fighter who faced off against anyone. He never refused to fight and was always confident in his punching power. He is on this list solely for his longevity as a knockout artist. Moore began his boxing career in 1935 and retired in 1963. During that time, he had 131 knockouts. He didn't knock out many top-tier opponents, but he demonstrated a powerful punch over the course of his 28-year-old boxing career. Boba Olsen, who he knocked out in the round three in 1955, was his most notable knockout victim. That same year, he knocked down Rocky Marciano, but was unable to finish him, and he was knocked out by Marciano. Despite this defeat, Moore demonstrated fist strength in both hands and left a trail of knockout victims in his wake. Number 7. George Foreman Foreman was a pure puncher of brute force. He was the strongest and most physically imposing heavyweight in his early career. Foreman lacked grace and traditional boxing technique, but his power was incredible. For the vast majority of his victories, he relied on his strength. In 1973, Foreman stunned the world by defeating Joe Frazier by knockout in two rounds. What many people forget is that he defeated Frazier again by TKO in 1975. Destroying Frazier twice is enough to establish him as one of the top five knockout punchers of all time. Number 6. 
Jack Dempsey. Jack Dempsey was a brawler rather than a trained boxer. Even by early 1900 standards, he was an undersized heavyweight, but he possessed tremendous punching power. While Dempsey lacked traditional boxing skills, he possessed a rare combination of heart, toughness, and power that elevated him to the ranks of the greatest heavyweight boxers of all time. When Dempsey challenged Jess Willard for his title in 1919, he weighed 187 pounds and Willard weighed 245 pounds. This was viewed as a David versus Goliath contest. Dempsey was a huge underdog, but he delivered one of the most brutal first round knockouts in boxing history. Jess Willard was knocked down seven times in the first round and Dempsey won by TKO in the third. Dempsey had no mercy and was willing to let his hands fly. His knockouts were always brutal and vicious. Dempsey's knockout power helped him become a boxing legend. Number 5. Roberto Duran Roberto Duran was known as Manos de Piedra, which translates to stone hands. Duran had serious knockout power if he had a nickname like that. He looks like a lightweight, middleweight version of Jack Dempsey. He's another stalking brawler who made his name with his knockout power. Number 4. Sugar Ray Robinson Sugar Ray Robinson was a smooth fighter with devastating punching power. He had quick feet and even faster hands. While Robinson possessed strength in both hands, his right hook was particularly lethal. Robinson had 108 knockouts, but two of his most notable came against Jake LaMotta and Rocky Graziano. Robinson never put LaMotta on his back, but he gave him a good beating in their final fight. In this match, Robinson rearranged LaMotta's face, and the referee stopped the fight to prevent serious injury to LaMotta. Number 3. Julio Cesar Chavez Julio Cesar Chavez is widely regarded as the greatest Mexican fighter of all time. For 13 years, Chavez dominated boxing by knocking out the vast majority of his opponents. Chavez was so impressive because he was a smart fighter who could box as well as brawl. He possessed a lethal combination of strength and speed. Julio Cesar Chavez dominated with his right cross and left hook. Mayweather was put on his back with the right and had his night ended with the left in his first fight with Floyd Mayweather. Chavez wielded enormous power in both hands. When it appeared that Chavez would suffer his first defeat against Meldrick Taylor in their first fight, Chavez nailed Taylor with the right cross in the 12th round and won the fight via TKO. Richard Steele's decision was highly contentious, but Meldrick Taylor was in no condition to fight for even a few more seconds. Number 2. Vladimir Klitschko Vladimir Klitschko is probably the least respected boxer on this list. Klitschko has a glass jaw and no notable opponents, but he packs a powerful punch. Klitschko is a giant, standing 6'6 and weighing around 250 pounds. Klitschko has learned how to put all of his weight behind his punch while not exposing himself under the tutelage of Emmanuel Stewart. Klitschko is unbeatable when he hits an opponent squarely in the face. Klitschko is ranked low on this list because he hasn't faced tough competition. But this isn't entirely his fault he is competing in an era with great heavyweight fighters. Number 1. Marvelous Marvin Hagler Marvin Hagler was a hard-punching middleweight with plenty of power in both hands. He was a brawler who turned his boxing matches into street brawls. He'd probably be higher on this list if he knocked out a lot of better opponents. According to his record, he only fought a few big-name fighters and only knocked out one of them, Tommy Hearns. The first round of Hagler vs. Hearns is one of the most brutal in boxing history. Both men came out swinging, but Hagler suffered significant facial injuries. He took Tommy's savage blows and attacked Hearns' body and head. That night, Hagler proved to have the stronger chin and punch. 
Hearns was only sent to the canvas once, and that was all he needed. Hagler lacked boxing skill, but he was incredibly powerful and had a great chin. Ultimately, Hagler's knockout power defined his career and cemented his status as a boxer. That's it for today. We hope you found our video interesting. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and share it with others. Also, if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to our channel. Don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of our new uploads. In the end, thanks for watching and see you next time.